Can we talk about it? Kylie Russell. I want to give you the benefit of the doubt, queen. I want to give you the benefit of the doubt, black queen. But there's a lot of inconsistencies in this story and it's looking like a real hoax out here. I don't want to say it's true because if this is true, they are not going to be looking for missing black girls like that. And you set black people back a couple years because they are not going to be looking for the, all the real missing black girls if this story is true. I want to say that first. I really hope this is not true because they will not be looking for any more black girls and they will not be putting that much intention on looking for black girls like that if this is true because they de dedicated a lot of police resources looking for you because they believed you seen a missing toddler on the side of the road first off sis where's the baby where is the baby can we talk about it they still got amber alerts issued for this missing baby that she says she's seen sis you can't just say you've seen a missing baby and then offer no information about it saying you destroy and you can't talk about what happened and then you send your parents these two out first look can we talk about these two these is these are scammer parents. I know scammers when I see them. And this story is looking like a real scamola, man, especially your father. He looked like a preacher, a preacher pastor scammer down south. And listen, y'all dedicated a lot of police resources and you know these people are gonna want their money back. They wanted nothing more for this to be a hoax and sis. I really hope this is not true because they're going to come down on you. And you did this in Alabama. They already don't play with us down there. So why would you do this there? This is sounding real Juicy Smollett. That's why I put my man Juicy Smollett out there because you cannot be the boy who cried wolf. You cannot be the girl who cried wolf, sis. So first up, let's get into inconsistency. One, the one is the baby. Two is apparently she went to Target before she was abducted. And they couldn't find the Target snacks that she went and bought from Target inside of the car along with her watch and her phone and stuff like that. They found all that stuff. And apparently they said sis was trying to cheat on her boyfriend right here with a 17-year-old. Kylie, what's going on, girl? Why you couldn't just go cheat quietly in peace like the rest of us? Was you really afraid of your boyfriend finding out you was trying to cheat on, with a 17-year-old that you had the whole world looking for you? You literally got the whole world looking at you right now, sis. And I really hope that this is a true story. And I don't want to say that you really got abducted, but I really hope that you didn't fake all of this because they gonna come down on you, sis. You had them Alabama police sheriffs and all of them people down there in the Jim Crow South spending all that money looking for you Stopping all them cars, stopping all of that traffic, looking for you and you was out getting some sneak dick? Sis, I better hope this is not true because this will be the greatest instance of a woman lying to get some dick that's ever been in history. And my man need to hide his face. If I'm a boyfriend, you're not seeing me. I'm, I'm jumping.